Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Today I want to introduce you to what I'm calling virtual table algorithms. Now, it's just an idea I've had recently and I, I, I have tested it a few times. Um, and I, I guess I just want to showcase it and I want to, in, in doing so, uh, really open the mind in terms of what's possible. The, the example I'm going to run through is, 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 I guess, just one of just so many that you could actually apply this uh, apply this technique to but I think it's just really powerful and and I mean and I say algorithms because I think that you could you could really expand on this and make this even more advanced and I think I will certainly showcase that in in the future but I just wanted to, to do one example here get um, get the discussion going uh, you know and, and and really just you know just showcase what is what is powerful DAX for me I mean it's just unbelievable how much uh, how advanced you can get inside of DAX formula in, in really quick time now, what I've chosen to do here is I've uh, and, and I've actually I've actually seen this a couple of times in, in some of the development work I've done is where you you want to actually um, you know you want to rank you want to rank say your customers across a number of different variables but you you want to actually bring that back to one variable so you need to create some sort of like algorithm that enables you to analyze all these different variables all these different factors according to some dimension in this case customers but then you want to bring it back to one number so that you can gauge okay well based on this one number instead of these three to ten variables and, and uh, that we might be able to extract from a customer we can say okay well this is a good customer this is a bad customer now what I've done is I've, I've kept it pretty simple and I've, 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 covered, I've covered off sales profits and margins and what we're going to do is we're going to create an algorithm within a virtual table that that gives us one number and we can use that one number to, to say okay overall this is a really good customer versus the versus this is not a good customer because sometimes looking at one thing in isolation like sales for a customer isn't actually going to give you the full picture because you need to probably actually evaluate profits but you know a, a better profit a customer who's producing better profits is probably better than someone who's producing a lot of sales because um, uh, because you know more sales means more time uh, etc uh, for your salespeople uh, uh, um, and um, customer service and all that kind of stuff but then also margins is also very important too because if you're extracting a very high margin of someone off lower volume then that's actually um, you know somewhat could be, could be classified a bit, a bit of a customer too so overall I think you know in this example to create some sort of algor algorithm which says okay well uh, across all these three uh, variables you know what what is our top customer versus our, our bottom customer and then you can test that through time etc now what i've done is i've actually broken out these calculations one by one in, in a table so we can actually have a look at them so we've got customer sales rank customer profits rank and customer margins rank so what we're going to do is we're, we're basically going to count up these three ranks and then that's going to give us you know the best versus the worst uh, now we can do this individually right so let's just have a look at the formula so all I've done is I've used rank X rank X is, is just perfect for this you know ranking all of our customers versus a particular expression or measure so in this case you know we're looking at the customer sales rank so we are ranking from one to whatever um, the, the the total per the, uh, our customer sales and so you, we can see here that um, in the top of the table you've got William Andrews he's our uh, they, they are our top customer so they're ranked one right and then the same for customer product rank this is the formula that we have here and then we've got customer margin rank so you see here that our top customers aren't really actually our top um, customers by margin our margins are a lot lower so if we actually look at our top uh, customers per margin well they're actually much lower in terms of sales so you know poses some interesting questions that we can look deeper into anyway what I want to do though is I want to I want to create this one number right and in doing so I'm going to um, show you how you can do it in a virtual table so you could do this actually a couple of ways but this is this is my introduction to virtual tables how you can utilize virtual tables to really simplify your formula because in reality, you don't even need to create or break out each of these individual formulas. You can uh, put them inside a virtual table and then utilize the uh, columns that you put inside your virtual table to then go and ultimately make these calculations. So this, and, and this is a technique that I really want to highlight here, which is just, just like mind blowing, you know, how far you could actually take this, right? So what we're doing, what we're doing is um, I have used variables. So what I've done inside of this one formula, the overall ranking factor, I've called it, I've created each of those individual formulas. So customer sales rank, profits rank, and margin rank. And then this is where I've used the virtual table. So what we want to do is we want to count up. We want to do a, a sum, right? We want to do a sum of um, uh, 
of all of these um, different customers' ranks. Actually, the sum x doesn't matter in this case because we're actually going to do it. Um, you could use the average x or, 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 or something of that nature, but we need to create an iterator. So that's what sum x is doing in this case. We need to create an iteration. But we need to iterate through a table, right? And this is the virtual table. This is the, the, this is the amazing feature of the virtual table is we can actually put any table of our making, of our liking, we can put anything in there. And what I've done is I've created a virtual table. So look at this part. I've created a virtual table and Summarize allows me to basically create this table of all the rankings that we've got below. I can create it virtually without having, even having to, you know, reference anything, any other calculation or uh, a calculation individually, any measure individually. It's all within this one measure. And so what I've done is I've, I've created a virtual table which lists out the customer name and then the sales rank, the profit rank and the margin rank, all one by one next to each other for each customer virtually. And then what was also amazing is that within an iterating function, so we need to iterate through all of our customers here, right? I can go and reference the columns that we have placed in our virtual table. So I can go and reference the sales rank, which is this column here, the profit rank, which is this column here, the margin rank, which is this column here, and then that's going to do, that's going to sum up all of those different ranks, all of these internal calculations within this one measure. And that's the power of utilizing this technique, is you don't need to break it up. You can just create this one uh, measure which, which, um, which encompasses all of the different uh, calculations that you want to add to your algorithm. So that's the, that's the, that's the truly powerful thing in my, in my view, is just the um, way that you can create these very advanced and complex algorithms, put them into one measure in, in some sort of format like this. And then there's just so many different ways you could take this, you know, utilizing these virtual tables. And so what we can do is we could actually bring this into the table here. So I've got my overall ranking factor here. And you'll see now that we now have this uh, additional, you know, this is our out this is the output of our algorithm. We have this factor that we can now utilize um, in our analysis, and it's just the one number versus, you know, all the numbers here. So, you know, it, it changes things up a little bit in terms of the overall factor. We've got a, a much different, uh, you know, a far different person. They're actually ranked 36 in sales, eighth, eighth in profitability, and 29th in customer ranking, uh, in, in margin ranking. And so that is what we classify as our top customer in this case. So I'm going to round things off there, but you know, hopefully this opens your mind in terms of what you can achieve with the within uh, with with DAX first of all, within Power BI, and then you know how you can really step things up and and, and really look into more advanced algorithms within the, within uh, within measures because there's you know this you could take this even further. I mean, I think back to um, you know banks or insurance companies. You know they're, they're all always trying to. Um, rank things or or or, ba or 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 run algorithms based on a number of different factors. I mean, how how is how likely is someone to default? How how um, likely are we going to have to pay out uh, this insurance policy? So, being able to implement these types of uh, calculations within uh, within measures is, is is really really powerful. Okay, so all the best, um, you know, working through working through this example and uh, and and trying to implement something similar or somewhat somewhat similar um, in, in your own environments. Uh, don't forget you can download this resource through Enterprise DNA TV resources. Check out the link below in the description. Uh, if you like this technique and content, um, certainly throw the video a like. Really appreciate it. Uh, and and certainly don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Um, putting putting a lot of content out there on on Power BI. Um, and, um, and and you know hopefully you're getting a lot out of it. Okay, all the best. Speak to you soon.